Good day everyone. I am Maria Gretchen M. Eginista, and with me are my co-researchers Rachel N. Nazareno and Lisa D. Soberano. Our research is entitled Content Analysis of Senior High School Life Science Investigatory Projects in the Division of Cavite of Cavite Province, Basis for Technical Assistance. As cited in the study of Sanchez and Rosarora 2019, the National Economic and Development Authority presents science research as a discipline that lays the foundation of efficiency, productivity, and innovation in the society. Republic Act 2067, also known as the Science Act of 1958, promotes and fosters science research as an effective instrument to intensify science and technology, research and development for national progress. In basic education, community contextualization, and performance-based assessment makes science research possible to be conducted by elementary and high school students through science investigatory projects. At present, the guidelines that is being followed is in the form of excerpt taken from the International Science and Engineering Fair International Rules and Guidelines, or ICEF 2013, which according to Juger 2013, do not exactly suit the context with which the investigatory projects are conducted in the Philippines. The main purpose of the study was to ascertain the strengths and weaknesses of senior high school life science investigatory projects within the division of Cavite through a systematic content analysis. The researcher seeks to answer the following questions. What is the percentage of the submitted senior high school life science investigatory projects which comply the Intel ISAF guidelines in terms of the following? Research title, research abstract, introduction, review of related literature, materials and methods, results and discussion, summary, conclusion and recommendation, literature cited and bibliography, research ethic and forms. Number two, what is the percentage of the submitted senior high school life science investigatory projects which did not comply the Intel ISAF guidelines in terms of the following? Research title, research abstract, introduction, review of related literature, materials and methods, results and discussion, summary, conclusion, and recommendation, literature cited bibliography, research ethics, and forms. Number three, what is extent of the compliance of the full SIP with the Intel ISAF guidelines? The primary purpose of this study was to evaluate the science investigatory projects in the division of Cavite. The focus of the evaluation was to determine the strengths and weaknesses of the SIP based on the guidelines stipulated in the Intel ISAF rules. The strengths and weaknesses of the science investigatory projects were determined using a validated researcher-made tool. Content analysis was done to determine whether each part of the SIP was compliant with the Intel ISAF guidelines. For methodology, the study used the mixed method research design, both qualitative and quantitative method. Sampling procedure. Upon securing approval from the Education Program Supervisor in Science and the School's Division Research Committee, top four science investigatory projects in life science category were subjected for evaluation. 
in which purposive sampling was used to evaluate the science investigatory papers from the winning schools both in individual and team category. In terms of data collection, research instrument utilized was a research-made checklist adapted from 2019, 2019 Intel ISEF guidelines and was validated by science curriculum experts composed of the education program supervisor in science, key administrators, department heads, master teachers, and science research advisors. Frequency counts were also used to determine common errors. Consolidation of data was done using Microsoft Office Excel. For the results and discussion of the study, as shown in Table 1, in terms of complied research com competent from eight submitted research papers, 100% were competent to comply on the title, background of the study, statement of the problem, significance of the study, and materials and methods. While two research papers, or 37.50%, were only fit to comply on the scope and limitations and research forms. Table 2 shows that for eight submitted research papers, 5 or 65.50 were non-complied to the Intel ISEP guidelines and were evident on the scope and limitations research forms. On the other hand, 12.50 were on the results and discussion and literature cited that show some weakness and it is modestly evident. Table 3 shows that there were 7 out of 8 investigatory projects or 87.59% complied to a very great extent with the Intel ISEF guidelines and only 1 or 12.50% comply to a great extent in the said guidelines. This means that the submitted senior high school life investigatory projects were able to comply excellently to the Intel ISEF guidelines. Conclusion. Based on the results of the study, science investigatory projects within the province of Cavite are excellent in terms of the content. Majority of the research paper components were able to comply with the Intel ISEF guidelines with high percentage of excellence. Thank you for listening and have a nice day.